Impressive transport is the movement of molecules from high to low concentration in order to maintain equilibrium in their cells. This doesn't require cellular energy. There are three types of passive transport, simple diffusion, osmosis, and facilitated diffusion. Simple diffusion is the random movement of molecules from a region of higher concentration toward one of lower concentration. Osmosis is the movement of water through a semi-permeable membrane toward a higher concentration of solute. Facilitated diffusion is the, is the diffusion in which a carrier molecule transports a substance across a cell membrane from a region of lower concentration. Aquaporin um, are integral proteins that allow the transport of water between cells across a phospholipid bilayer. Active transport. Active transport is the process that requires energy in a carrier molecule to move a substance across a cell membrane against concentration gradient. Molecular active transport. Primary active transport utilizes energy in form of ATP to transport molecules across the membrane against their concentration gradient. Secondary active transport. Transport of molecule across the cell membrane utilizes energy in other forms than ATP. This energy comes from the electrochemical gradient created by pumping ions out of the cell. Pumps for carriers are also a part of active transport. They are transmembrane polypeptide molecules, for example, sodium potassium pump and electron transport chain. Bulk transport is the transport of very large molecules in and out of the cell. The first part is endocytosis. This is a process by which a cell membrane envelopes a substance and draws it into the cell in a vesicle. There are three types of endocytosis. Firstly, receptor-mediated endocytosis. This moves very specific kinds of particles into the cell. Phagocytosis is the process by which a cell engulfs and digests solids. Phenocytosis is the process by which a cell engulfs droplets of fluid from its surroundings. Another type of bulk transport is exocytosis. This is the transport of substance out of a cell in membrane-bounded vesicles. Water potential. Water potential is the measurement of how likely water will move in or out of a solution. It is the sum of pressure potential and solute potential. Tonicity. A measurement of the relative concentration of solute between two solutions. A solution's tonicity is related to its osmolarity. A solution with low osmolarity has fewer solute particles per liter of solution, while a solution with high osmolarity has more solute particles per liter of solution. If the extracellular fluid has fewer osmolarity than the fluid inside the cell, it's said to be hypotonic. Hypo means less than to the cell and the net flow of water will be into the cell. In the reverse case, if the extracellular fluid has a higher osmolarity than the cell cytoplasm, it's said to be hypertonic. Hyper means greater than to the cell and the water will move out of the cell to the region of higher solute concentration. In an isotonic solution, iso means the same. The extracellular fluid has the same osmolarity as the cell, and there will be no net movement of water into or out of the cell.